You know, sometimes you just have one of them days. I, uh, geez, I just, I just want to go sit in my chair. Spent 14 hours yesterday cleaning off property. Took down about a hundred and something feet worth of barbed wire fence and chicken wire. Cut down like 14 trees, chopped them up, got them moved. Go down to get the bobcat this morning and the axle seal has poured like a gallon of oil on the ground. So I said, well, to hell with it. I'm going to put some fuel in the tractor and cut the yard. So I go to put fuel in the tractor and uh, that damn swivel. Yeah. There ain't one in town. In the meantime, I'm making phone calls trying to find me a swivel. And yesterday, I spent a bunch of time cleaning and waxing the Ranger. Clean the interior, clean the engine, waxed it, clean the windows. Whole time I'm making phone calls, that damn swivel is leaking fuel in the bed of the truck. Everywhere, and it's dripping out the bottom. So I made a phone call. See where the hell my pistons are. Oh, well, we've got your pistons, but the rings are on back order. I just can't win today. I'm getting so tired of this coronavirus bullshit. You can't get nothing done. You can't get no parts. You just can't have nothing. Uh, it's one of them days. I did get a bunch of shit cleaned off. It looks nice. Um, it's a good thing I was doing it too, because the, uh, there was a tree down by the barn. I was looking at cutting another piece of fence down, and there was a tree by the barn that was rotten and leaning towards the barn. My neighbor helped me pull it down yesterday. Um, that could have been a bad thing, because I think, uh, tonight... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. We got some heavy rain showers coming. Last thing I need is the barn to be tore up. Um, all right, now. Yeah. So you can see I cleared off a bunch of stuff down here by the barn. There's what's left of the fence I hadn't cleaned up yet. Oh... Uh, you can probably see it in the video where I did the dirt work. I put all this fill dirt down here, what this used to look like. I should have taken a before picture. But this line right here, there was a uh, see that old cedar tree right there. There was a fence running from it all the way down this line. I ain't got that T-post up yet. I mean, you can still see some fencing hung between them two trees, and it went to right here. Um, and it made an L shape. Stopped right here, and then kind of went that away, and it wrapped around these two trees. That T post just laying there. Um, I got this smoothed off. There's all the garbage I cut down. I'm gonna wait for it to dry out a little bit and then move it. Um, but the tree I cut down, boy, I'm glad I cut it down too. I'm still going to come back through here and clean this stuff up right here. I don't need a fence right here. I don't know why. I got a good post right there I can reuse for something. But I'm going to clean all this garbage out. I'm going to leave that tree and this one, cut all these little things down, get the fence up. I need to do a lot of work to the barn. The end of the barn where, the, uh, where I keep all my junk, I got more parts than I know what to do with. The uh, Well, you can see the light coming through the roof. A tree fell on it when I first got the place and... Hell, I ain't had time to, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. I hadn't had time to fix the roof yet. Um, old Bob Kitty done pissed me off. Um, here's that tree. Um, you can see she's, she's pretty nasty. I mean, it, it was, well... How about that? Uh, we pulled it down with the mule, chopped it up, put it in the burn pile, saved the neighbor's fence. One of them deals. 
It's one of them days where you just don't feel like doing much. Everything you do seems to go south on you. Love how some of these people post YouTube videos and everything works out just flawlessly. They never show you the crap that goes wrong. And I got these new parts. I'm gonna put them on today and nobody ever says, well, I've been waiting like 10 months for these damn parts because everything's on back order because nobody's working. I can't afford to quit working. I got stuff to do. Good thing I'm an essential worker and I still got a job. But anyway, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to do one of them things. I know you've seen it. They come along and they snap and the shit gets done. I got to figure out how to do that. Order me up some house elves or something. I'll just set the camera up and let them do the work. I can sit back and drink beer Anyway At least this still looks good. It's been packed in pretty nice. I still hadn't box bladed I'm gonna do that as soon as I put fuel in the tractor after fixing all that junk on the diesel tank Because uh, if we got rain coming I want to go ahead and box blade this up and make it Where I want the water to flow But anyway I think that looks a hell of a lot better my intention is is once i get all this cleaned out back here i'm gonna knock the back wall out on the barn and push it back the uh the fence doesn't run parallel with the barn it kind of veers back but i'm gonna pull the barn out about 15 feet um redo the roof bring the barn back that way i can get more stuff in it uh, I'm running out of room. But anyway, as soon as that jump dries up, I can come in here and finish cutting down all these trees. And last thing I want is something else fall on the barn. I don't really like these three little trees, but they sure do have a lot of shade. But all their roots are connected at the bottom. So if I cut one down, I need to cut three. I think if I take one, the roots are going to rot and the other two are going to come down. So I'm just going to leave them for now. Don't really like them, but I like the shade. Anyway, well, I ain't got no updates on the Cummins. I'm, I'm about tired of talking about pistons and hearing about pistons, and I'm sure everybody else is too. If I had a way to video this stuff, my neighbor was helping me yesterday, but I ain't gonna ask him to run a camera. He's helping me work. Anyway. That's all done. I'm just going to cut the yard. It ain't that bad, but I know if we got three or four days of rain coming, by the time I get time to cut it again, it's going to be out of control. Clean up the rest of that junk right there and put it on the scrap pile. So, as soon as I see some parts or something, I did get some uh, bottom end bearings ordered. Got standard P bearings, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. I got... Standard bearings ordered, rods and mains, um, and another cam retainer. It's all on the way. Um, and I need to make an order for some push lock hose. I'm trying to keep with my blue and yellow theme, and uh, the only place in town that carries the Dash 10 push lock that I use only has black. I'm okay with black, ain't a problem, but, you know, I gotta be different. Gotta have blue and yellow. Ain't nobody else got blue and yellow. And regardless of what people tell you, that is not cat yellow. That is actually 67 Corvette Stingray yellow. I seen the car on the side of the road, called my powder coater. I said, that's the color I want. That is not cat yellow. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to doing some work. I'm going to ride the tractor and put my headphones in and jam some Metallica or something. Anyway, y'all be good.